Hi guys, time check is exactly 6 p.m. and we are live in our studios here at Westlands bringing you the trends of this week. And of course, I'm here with my ever glowing co-host, Miss Jacqueline JQ Bebe. JQ! Yes! <laughs> And yes, we are going to jump straight into our first story. <gasps> what a week it's been, though. Oh, my. <laughs> I know, right? It has been such a crazy week. Yes. Filled with so much drama. Drama, drama, and drama. And you know, the two of us, we love drama. So... <laughs> Some middle names. <laughs> Let's get it. Get Let's it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> first drama of the week. <laughs> Badder than. So we, we got a very new entry into the music scene. <laughs> Hajar For Real decided to shock everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a big shock because mm -hmm. there was nothing that showed that she was interested in being a musician. Of course, we've seen her music videos, being mm -hmm. a video vixen and all of that, but we never anticipated that she was going to come out. But she did mm -hmm. and dropped her first single, Badder Than. First of all, JQ, what do you think about this song? I want it, I like it, I buy it, I got it. I'm going to show ya. Call me Mona. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <sighs> never saw it coming. Never in my wildest imagination would have thought. Because in the first place, Hadja Ford doesn't even have the voice that sounds pleasing musically. Not to be disrespectful or anything, but you know, that voice you hear, I'm like, ooh, this person should be a singer. Yeah. But Hadja Ford would never give any kind of hint. She never, you know, vibe like that. So, but the music video. It was really badder, badder than any female musician's music video in the country and as of 2020. Hadja for real, hands down, queen of Ghana music video. <laughs> if you got the money and the looks, mm -hmm. I mean, I think a lot of people who were commenting on the music video and everything that had come up uh, with her had, were saying that, oh, she has the body, mm -hmm. she has the looks, mm -hmm. you know, and everything. But mm -hmm. voice not not in Shada. And you could clearly see that she's not musically inclined because even though it just felt like she was putting words together over a beat yeah. and the beat is nice. It's the beat that is catchy and then yeah. the one phrase, the ba -da -dan, ba -da -dan, ba -da -dan, but it's not a song that you'd want to repeat two times or three times. Yeah. But I feel like with time, you know, with the radio stations playing it, the TV stations playing it stick. all over. It's just going to stick into people's minds. Yeah. Oh, I'm better than, better than, better than. And exactly. it's just, just going to vibe to it. But let's talk about that freestyle. She was invited. Of course, she's doing media rounds all over. But the one media round that she did that went viral was when she went to the studios of OK FM and she was being interviewed by Abeku. So Abeku decided to test her and put her on the floor for us, for her. To, can you give us a snippet? To this thing? It was so horrible. I don't even want to remember. It was like, you you remember, you did tell them because media. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come over, moreover, whenever. Ever, ever. That's okay that's, for that's now. Okay. <laughs> for now. I'm like, sis, you have nothing more to add. You really have nothing to add. But I think one aspect of, you know, her media runs that a lot of people have been talking about is the fact that they were actually talented musicians, you know, putting in the work that need a little bit of exposure Spotlight. just to, you know, put their craft out. And that Jaffa Royal just has it so easy with just one song that is really... And I feel like, even though people say all of that, I feel like having Connect makes that possible. So, exactly. I don't think Haja for Royal just, they just call her to come. She obviously, excuse me, she obviously has the Connect to go to these places. Because and she's been in the so. industry, like her face is there, even mm -hmm. though she's not, mm -hmm. you know, she's been an actress mm -hmm. and all of that. Even so I think seemed like a promoter for, for Shatawale at a point. Exactly. So, it's... it's for me, what was more shocking was the, the premiere and the launch of her career. That stage, for someone who, you know, first time is music and, you know, that huge stage. No music new, label, no, everything nothing. is being sponsored And by then the whole act like Shatawale performing for, you know, some minutes and, you know, bringing on. But I'm like... Networking, guys. The right connections will make you a star. But for me, I really look forward to how it's going to all play out. If it's just going to be a December thing or she's really serious... Even but though she said she's serious and that's a music studio, studio in, in her, her house. Home, yeah. I'm like... So sis didn't come to play. Mm -mm, she didn't. So, but this music is for play. Do you think her next single is going to, you know... I think her next single is going to feature someone who is probably going to make the song last. I mean, Adabra predicted Shatawali. Most likely possible because they've always been together. Akao Mona. Guys. 
That's roll all. it. We are rolling. Better than. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't watched the music video yet, I suggest you do so because it's picking up all the views on YouTube as well. But then our next story, um, MPs versus actors in Ghana. <laughs> so Miss Shelley Ayoko, um, during one of her campaign messages, she's a member of the New Patriotic Party, of course, and during one of her campaign messages, decided to dig, you know, you know, when politicians that want to play dirty a little. Mm -hmm. And she made some statements that didn't sit well with the Actors Association of Ghana. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, she said that uh, John Dumelo, she was speaking in support of the MPP aspirant for Ayawasu West to work on, which is Ma Lydia. And she stated that, you know, uh, Ghana needs serious people mm -hmm. and that people who who because just because they think they are famous cannot just get up and decide that you know want to be in parliament she said in parliament it's serious business so if you're in the showbiz world you are not welcome mm -hmm. in summary of what she said and people i mean the actors were obviously angry at her not just the actors and other Ghanaians as well who felt that what she said was simply below the belt and not you know welcome what do you think of what she said John Dumelo will not be the first celebrity Has it actor. Has he been the first? Yes. He, then we've had yeah. celebrities in parliament. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and it's not, for me, I don't even know what, what is the basis of, you know, someone becoming a parliamentarian. It de it's definitely about someone who has a passion to, you know, make change in the society or the community exactly. in which they are. Yeah. I remember last, last year's election when the hairdresser from one of the villages stood as a, an aspirant and won. Mm -hmm. I don't think any, and she stood on the ticket of the MPP. Mm -hmm. you, there were the same people saying that let's support diversity, let's support and make her an example to show people that as long as you have the passion to make change, you can come to parliament the yeah. parliament is open and welcoming to people of all kinds yeah. so just because someone is you know standing against your party and it's not you know in your party you think it is wrong for them because they are you know i, I don't even think i'll have a problem if she said that if she, if she made reference to the 2016 allegations of john dumelo being exactly. bribed with the v8 car yeah. if you say that oh john is corrupt because apparently some years ago, he took this, this, this so, happened, so on this fit. ground, he's yeah. not fit. But she was wrong. I like the fact that she she didn't just say because I've said it, I've said it. But yeah. she actually took the extra step to release a statement in trying to explain with a non-reasonable reason. Yate. Of course, that's what they always do. Uh -huh. They say something and mm -hmm. then come back next. But mm -hmm. yes, still on John Dumelo, which is our next story. Wa bro, this week John Dumelo, wa bre. John, I did for you. <laughs> Hashtag, I did for you, you. Yeah, so John DeMello, of course, as you all know, is standing on the ticket of the NDC for, to be the parliamentary candidate for Ayawaso West Wogon. And it has been a very interesting uh, journey so far. Mm -hmm. From when, I think during the primaries, he didn't, I'm sure he himself, he didn't take it serious. Yeah. But he won the primaries and was like, oh my God. People this actually is, believe in you me. You know, and this is going to happen. <laughs> right. So he took the bold step, started campaigning, and he's done so many major projects that mm. have been commendable. Yeah. And so when you go on social media, I mean, social media is not the grounds for you to think whether someone is going to win or an not. election or mm. not. But social media has been on his side. But then um, this week, some actors who belong to the New Patriotic Party decided to go to John's constituency to campaign for their mm -hmm. party. And a lot of people saw that it was a wrong move, uh, being that, of course, in our uh, other story, we said that Shelly Ayoko had come to say that actors are not serious and all that. So people thought that if an actor has stepped out and has been able to make it this far, all actors in Ghana, despite their political ideologies or whatever, should support him Absolutely. so that they get him into power so that, you know, uh, people's mindset will be changed. But then they, they went to Ayawaso and they started com campaigning and mm -hmm. they got a lot of people Okra voting, man. Aha. Was Chese, that a, a good move? Chese, this week, I don't know why everybody is against George, but J, 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 D, I do for you. <laughs> I did for you. Now to the actors, you 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 clearly heard Shelley speak against you. So I don't know why you still go and publicly support a party that says you people are not serious. It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to them because 
or my year, yeah. and some of the acts were just a bit too extreme. I mean, yes, maybe you 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 did it because you like the ideologies of the MPP, supported MPP, and nobody so is stopping you from supporting or campaigning for them. But you don't go to the extra mile to make it look like a mockery, especially with um, Calibos's video when he was, you know pasting that thing on John's face and saying, yeah. oh, tomano, tomano. I felt that was just a bit too extreme. It was. But I, in my honest opinion, I feel all of these things would motivate more people to vote for John just to, you know, shame those that are against John. I mean, you, it's just, a, it's just a, a, um, a feeling I'm having, but you never know what the populace always have in mind. And exactly. we never know how anything is going to turn out until December 7th. After everything is done, that is when everybody who know their place. More and more, I do for you. For more, for no, you know, you know, you know. But yes, um, after the news came out that they were in Iowa so campaigning, James Gardner, who is one of John's, you know, very good friends in the industry, came out to write a very long letter supporting him and all of that. And the next day, Calibos also wrote a very mm -hmm. lengthy post mm -hmm. on Instagram trying to explain his actions mm -hmm. and all. Okay, so with James Gardner's post, it, it really, it was nothing new because everybody over the years knows that James Gardner has been an NDC person, has always, you know, supported the ideologies of NDC. So it, it just so happens that because um, people were publicly against John uh, Dumelo, you know, he's also come to reaffirm his support for John Dumelo and his ideologies, which are similarly in line with the NDC. NDC. So there's nothing shocking about it. What I have an issue with is Calibos, you know, um, lengthy post explaining himself. Fine, you've explained with valid reasons that people can necessarily campaign for without it being a campaign against, because yeah. that's what they believe in. Yeah. But the latter part of the apology where he, he talks about people writing big, big English, like they went to Montessori and they that went to the Saito are actually taking action and people that are writing lengthy posts on Instagram are only doing so without taking real action to support the people they claim they support. I'm like, bro... Someone has written their post supporting who they want to support. What has that got to do with big English and whether and they are not on the ground supporting the people? Like, <laughs> and besides, she said uh, none of them have ever uh, made a post on Instagram. And I, I believe that. Uh, even though it's campaign, maybe those people are on the ground with him. You have no, you have idea. no idea what they are yeah. doing. The fact that your videos are out that doesn't show that you're the ones doing yeah. the work. You don't know if they're putting in some monetary support to his campaign exactly. or anything. So not everybody comes on social media to talk. But I also like the fact that Beverly Afaglo, you know, has been very open about her yeah. criticism and she didn't mind anywhere. She said, You people are really selling your souls to political people and she can't wait to see how everything is going to turn out after December 7th. Okay guys, on that note, we're going to take a quick breather and we'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're moving into our next story, which is has been, a, you know, a, such a big topic over the weeks. Funny Fizz and his baby mama. <sighs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys, finally, it looks like all the problems have been solved. Mm -hmm. And Funny Fizz is back in love. At first, <laughs> he was depressed in love. <laughs> but now, ever since his wife, no, his baby mama, who is about to be a wife, by the way, welcomed their third child. He has been over the moon, mm -hmm. has gone on social media spree to apologize publicly, of course, to her and their family, and is ready to put the ring on her finger. <sighs> Miss JQ Bebe, <laughs> have you ever been in love before? <laughs> love look at you before. <laughs> I mean, this funny face story. I just... At this point, you know, um, I don't I really don't know much to say, but I feel like it's it looks he's trying to make it look like he's all okay, everything is okay. Yeah. But I know there are issues behind. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like this is just a, a front, you know, to, to make it seem like because there's a new baby, everything is all fine. Yeah. But I feel like there are a lot of issues that need to be addressed. Maybe they will do that behind the scenes. So I feel like literally he should just put social media on a break. Enjoy his family if they are back together now. Enjoy his newborn child. Just just take a breather so that when you are even coming back, it will be more exciting when you announce that you and um, Ama Vanessa are, you know, officially back together. But just as the issue heightened and you welcome the baby, you are back giving warning to Brasami, making hints of marriage. It still doesn't look like all is well. And I like actually like the fact that he 
openly in one of you know his hindus captions mentioned that he was depressed and that was the reason for some of his actions and then he's seeking help and hopefully yeah. now that their family is back together all is going to be about funny face take a breather I'm get so on social sure. media enjoy your new baby enjoy your family and have some family time and peace end of story end of story <laughs> and what seems to be another end of an era in the kennedy japan versus tracy <laughs> movement <laughs> <laughs> so yes movement. over the weeks we've you know come here to discuss all the things that are going on in their world mm -hmm. but now it seems to have come to an end as Kennedy Japong in a recent interview made mention that all the you know uh, claims that he had made that it's legal on landlord no a uh, John Dramani Mahamena Eto and all that is it was a lie he was just joking and all of that and Tracy Wachi said okay uh, if you say so mm -hmm. some jokes are expensive though mm -hmm. but I respect you a lot and it was because of some of these things that you said that's why I came at you with such vulgar words and on that note since you've come out to say it's a joke I apologize <sighs> Kennedy Japan what should we do about Kennedy Japan in this country I feel like to save him this whole embarrassment of you know saying something which are completely untrue, which he will later come and claim they are untrue and apologize for, he should just focus on being a philanthropist, being a member of parliament, being a yeah. businessman, and just get out of all the social media trends. It's like he always wants to be be on the lips of people, and it's always for the negative reason. And yeah. for a whole member of parliament with twenty two children, but you you know Ken has had a reputation over the last few years of being someone who has like conk secrets like all the things that he comes to say people actually believe him like he has come out to have like make damning allegations mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. people and some of them always turn out to be true mm. but then would people see him differently now that he has come out to absolutely I, I absolutely case? i feel like you know in the beginning people actually believed it was true because you know he took his time with saying some of the things he yeah. didn't just pilot up today he comes and says this exactly. so once he will come and then he'll come another time so it made people feel like he really did some research into whatever he came to say before mm -hmm. coming out to say them but then in recent times he just became someone who always had something to say for Satan. so even people actually started feeling like he's just saying it to trend he's yeah. just saying things just to you know be on the lips of people and he yeah. actually has come back to say that indeed some of the things he said were false so it will make people be in doubt with some of the things you exactly. come back to say later future, but i yeah. feel They've, if they've apologized, it should end there because I know Ken is one man who can always go back on his leg and Tracy is one woman who cannot live a day without going on Instagram Live and Facebook Live. So we hope this is really, like you said, an end to an era yeah. and then we have some peace and let East Legon land lady enjoy her East Legon mansion. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> now, talking about peace, our last story for today is about the incoming elections, yep, which yep. has got everybody hyped. Monday is the day, and listen, there are two main, I mean, they, we have like about five people on the ballot, mm -hmm. but there are two main uh, political parties that are at each other's throats mm -hmm. trying to win power. The MPP is trying to retain, and the NDC is trying to come back. Uh, you know, over the past few months, we've seen all the campaigns. In your own opinion, who do you think has a stronger chance? Bear in mind that this last uh, few weeks, the MPP has been on the bad side of the news with corruption allegations mm -hmm. here and there. Do you think it's going to affect them in any way? I really don't feel so. I feel like they're putting more works over the, over the months leading up to elections Election. that it almost looks as if these current um, news of corruption are a particular target at them to, you know, ruin their campaign. And they don't yeah. even seem to be bothered by that. About, they yeah. are more focused on, you know, pushing their campaign, being on the streets, yeah. being everywhere visible on social media, on all the bloggers, um, you know, social media accounts, on all the trends on Pay Twitter, ads. ads, everywhere. They are yeah. all over everywhere. They are putting the work. And that's not to say the NDC is not also putting in work. The NDC is also putting a lot of work. You know, yeah. they are on the grounds. They are doing interviews. They are doing... So it's, it's, it's really not a matter of who has a higher chance because it's always about the thumb that does the talking and yeah. the thumb of 3.1 um, million Ghanaians who will be going to the polls to vote. And on Monday at 6 p.m. or maybe later in the day, whenever yeah. it is, when uh, Mr. J. Mensah announces the winner, we just hope that everybody accepts the results in good faith like we've always been doing mm -hmm. and just jammer to the winner's um, campaign song and just vibe to it and yeah. then hope for a successful four years of governance of whichever party well, is... End and or continue. Or continue. <laughs> Whichever one it is, all we want is yeah. peace in Ghana. Will you so, be exercising your civic responsibility? Um, maybe, sir. Maybe, sir. Because sometimes you, you feel like, uh, 
we always vote, nothing changes, all we are all in the same situation. But I've I've grown to feel that no matter what you 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 think it's not going right, one thumb, just your thumb might change the course of what someone is also hoping for so, or what you are even hoping for yourself. So I'm just going to go out, vote for the party that I believe in their ideologies. I believe they have the, the right policies that are going to make the future better. Because right now, they, I'm not enjoying any of them. So yeah. just the future better for our future generations. So you never know. It is not about me, my vote. It's about the populace in Ghana, what they select. In yes. And on that note, we are hoping that every mm -hmm. youth in Ghana, mm -hmm. I mean, these people, they are deciding our future for us. Right. So we are pleading with everyone. No matter what your political ideology, just go out, exercise your civic mm -hmm. responsibility, go back to the Peacefully. house, sleep. You know, it's a holiday, Absolutely. so chill at home <laughs> while we wait for the winner to be announced. And let's jamma. Exactly, we'll jamma. <laughs> jamma, they will jamma, whether it is uh, Mahama Fao, Anna. No, 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 oh, yeah, we know. Oh, yeah, we know. <laughs> Anna, two, 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 two. Everybody is going for two, two. All formal. And on that note, Nana Kwame is up next mm -hmm. as he brings us. The fun part of the show when yep. you get to, you know, come back to you with all our fun segments. So Absolutely. stick and stay. Hey there, guys, this is Nana Kwame here, and it's time for my favorite part of Trending GH that is our fun, fun segment. So, we're going to be quick and just dive right into that. And number one, we have Shade of the Week. This week's shade, I mean, social media has been buzzing since Hadja Faru made her debut into the music industry, but these very shadeful comments caught our eye. So, number one is Abigail Hugo Hughes on Facebook who said, as we are about to leave 2020 and coronavirus, another pandemic is also threatening. <laughs> also threatening, not to say. Enyampum Bambi CEO is just very threatening. And this is her first song, so you can imagine. Sarah Segler also said, Oh, Jairoff, you can't take Amelia's, Amelia Bobe's shine. She still has the crown. What crown are you talking about? Better leave Amelia Bobe out of this. Guys, <laughs> that is our shade of the week. We are moving on to our hot picks, which is fiery fiery Ivonoko. can you see that so over the week was her birthday and these pictures these pictures my favorite is that black dress that skin fitness diet though she's killing it and that is our hot pictures of the week and guys i'm moving on to our next segment which is what the f and please this is a general plea from the Ghanaian populace to hadia for real make like a yeah yeah bre. that freestyle you didn't even rap. You didn't even sing. The worst part of that freestyle for me is when she went on to say, oh, it's okay, it's okay for now. For now. Not just the sister is planning to drop hits after hits, bangers after bangers, pandemic after pandemic. No, we can't. And that is our what the F for the week. And our last segment is JQ's very own favorite throwback of the week, where we still go back to when they were on the moon till they came on the stars. And this time is none other than the first lady of Ghana, Mrs. Ekufuado. So Mrs. Rebecca Ekufuado is looking very regal in this black and white photo. It's the hoop earrings for me and that afro. There's just something about her. She's looking into the future like she knew she was going to be first lady of the country. So yeah, guys, look at her. All beautiful, all regal and all excellent fitting for a first lady. And guys, that is our segment this week. So do not go anywhere. They will come back and close it up. Hi guys, it's still trending GH and don't forget we have some super fun giveaways to do this week. We have amazing vouchers from the number one pizza joint in Ghana. Cheesy pizza. pizza. Just the way you like it. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. But up next is VJ Scarrow with Trending Tunes. Hey, what's up my people? It's your VJ Scarrow and you know what it is. It is time for Trending Tunes right here on Trending GH. Now when you see me guys sitting here like this, you know I've got music to share with you guys so this week i've got five dope songs to share with you let's start at number five and i got a year call by kojo steve featuring the man darling boy this is hip-hop tune if you love gh hip-hop if you love uh, the, the, the trap tunes that this gh artists are producing this is a song that you would love so make sure you check out year call by the man steve kojo steve alongside darling boy and you're gonna love this tune moving on to number four i got ankunam 
by Sefa featuring the man for me. And uh, this is a new song that is off uh, uh, Sefa's uh, e uh, new album that is Growth. It's a banging song, a perfect collaboration that everybody can jam to, especially the ladies. If you love songs that is a beat on a cool, high tempo, this is a song for you. Make sure you check it out. Uncle Nam at number four, and that's by Sefa featuring the man for me. Yeah. At number three, I got Highly Spirited by the one and only talented Califina. And this girl's a new artist making it big out there. She's Super talented. The first time I, I discovered her, I, I fell in love with her sounds just at the time I listened to the first song. So this song, Highly Spirited, is a song for everybody. If you feel like you're, you're not motivated, you need a song to get you motivated, this is a song that you should listen to. Highly Spirited by the one and only talented Califina is at number three for this week. And at number two, I got Feel Away by the talented Amare. And this is off a new album that she just, there's a debut album she dropped not too long ago. It's banging everywhere. All the songs of that album is banging, but Feel Away is one of my favorite. I just had to share with you guys. So make sure you check out this one. It's at number two for this week. Feel Away by the super talented Amare. And that's at number two. At number one, we got the song that everybody is jamming to in Ghana and beyond. The song that is banging at all the clubs. And of course, the man Kofi Jamal featuring Y'all Talk and the man uh, YP. Now, this is a Kumerican thing. You get me? The Kumasi guys are taking over. If you've not heard this song, then you're missing out. But uh, it's never too late because the Koso is still banging. So this song is the number one song for this week. A Koso by the man Kofi Jamal featuring Yard Talk and YP. You got to check out this one. So these are all the songs I got for you this week. Make sure you check it out and make a deal with me. Same time next week on Training Tunes for the best music update. My name is VJ Scavro and we out here. And that's all we have for you guys today. See you same time next week as we bring you the latest trends. But until then, do follow us on all of our social media platforms at Amiya TV. <laughs> <laughs>